Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your solar return birthday reading for 2020. I am bringing this to you right before the end of June so that I catch those of the June babies and also catch the interest of the July babies. So happy birthday to you. I love cancer season. It's um, for me, it's always a, um, a little rough only because of all the eclipses, right? So I really do wish I had more cancer energy in my chart so I could have that hard outer shell protect me. Um, but then again, I have your beautiful energy to help me through it. So I'm glad to be here with you. I am pulling for you, dear Cancerians, three cards from the um, Sacred Traveler. This reading will uh, guide you for the next year. It is a little bit about something that you need to let go of from this past year. Uh, and all the other cards representing the upcoming year in your life. So it is a big reading. And I'll walk you through it. Okay, let's see what three cards come through for you from the Sacred Traveler. Something to guide you on your journey. Ooh, in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. I like it. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Wow. Expand your horizons. Vast vistas. Wow. So everything is smooth sailing. I love how they have like a little Santa sled there. Everything is smooth sailing in the flow. That card is in the flow, protected by angels and vast vistas. And this uh, expand your horizons. This feels very related to Jupiter, the expansion. Uh, expand your horizons, vast vistas. How far can you see into your future? Staying in the flow, keeping everything copacetic, right? Riding along, and you're cherished and protected. So I love that energy for you. I will put these over here. Kind of leads me to believe that something new may be coming on your path. Um, and that once it appears, the best course of action is to kind of go with the flow. I hope that helps. Expand your vision of what's being put in front of you and then just sort of follow where it leads you and know you're protected in doing so beautiful message okay so what i'm going to do whoa whoa come back come back what i'm going to do is pull the first part of this reading here and we're going to go into it in a lot of detail so let me get the cards out for dear cancerians solar return birthday reading 2020 June and July babies born under the sign of cancer. What are the prominent energies coming through for those who are watching? Please help me deliver those messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So. Oof. No joke. You can't even miss it, right? Like you can't wait. <laughs> All right. Oh, cancer. Oh my gosh. Oh, this reading. Look at this. We have the divine masculine and the divine feminine. This reading already has me ready to sob, so... Let me try to let me try to stay keep myself together <laughs> okay oh my gosh so what we have here something from last year you need to let go of dear cancerians someone either ghosted you or you experienced a sense of abandonment not being able to access the warmth of this person i am feeling a, a relationship reading here so please understand that's the thread i'm going to pull through this storyline this is about scarcity mindset, lack consciousness. It can also be uh, that you had some financial instability as a result of some connection where you kind of felt left to your own devices, maybe even just, just devalued or, or, or you were made to feel less than. So that's something you have to let go of. Abandonment was the first thing that came through. So um, we're going to clarify it to get to, so i'm sure what that's really about but i think i just went through a litany of things that you should be going yep that's me 
This um, upcoming year of your life is all about choosing the new path, looking out, right? Because once you let go of whatever abandoned you or ghosted you and treated you like you were yesterday's bread, <laughs> God, terrible analogy, um, you now have this new path. You're looking out on the horizons this year, um, on the horizon, Cancer, and you're seeing a world of possibilities that globe in the palm of your hands, a world of possibilities as you consider um, your next move. And that's why I see there's something vast vistas. Expand your horizons. That's exactly what this card is about. You will be protected while you do that. Go with the flow. Okay, so that's what the whole upcoming year of your life is going to be about. Really looking and examining. Please understand this two of wands. Oh, I'm losing my... There we go. Uh, I have to get the camera to understand that I talk with my hands and I move fast. <laughs> it's like, it's the Italian in me. I'm in, I'm out, I'm up, I'm down, and the camera can't track me. Oh my gosh, my wrong. Anyway, I feel what I love about this card for you is that you can't get it wrong. There is not a right or wrong here. There is a path that will be better for you than the other. So this is about becoming real with yourself and understanding when you're looking at those paths yeah sometimes we want to act on our passion the wands is passion but you may need to do a deeper dive okay just gonna say it something new to look forward to this year is somebody coming back from the past this could be someone you uh were previously in a relationship with or someone that comes kind of out of the blue um that you never would have considered as a potential mate but they come in very passionately the knight of wands that's that jupiter energy that is a sagittarian energy it's something that comes through very passionately um swashbuckler style this is the sweep you up off your feet grand gestures kind of energy um i do want to give you a word of caution so it's something to look forward to i the only word of caution you know all these cards have reversed energy the only word of caution is sometimes this Knight of Wands doesn't have staying power because they're operating from impulse and they they come charging in and then kind of go right, right out the back door, in through the front door, out through the back door because they don't always have the staying power. That's not always the case. So I'm just giving you a little word of caution. We'll clarify it, but that seems very exciting to me. And something you should explore this year is this energy of the emperor. So if you are here in the masculine energy uh, as a Cancerian, you're exploring your role as the emperor in your divine connection. If you are here as a feminine Cancerian, you should be exploring someone on your path that you might believe to be your twin flame, that you might believe to be the divine masculine to your divine feminine. Could it be this person? Will you choose that path? Inquiring minds. An important lesson you're gonna learn this year is about delaying your gratification. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, hanged man, Pisces energy here. By the way, the uh, emperor is Aries. Um, so I just like to let you know that. Hanged man, pulling back. Looking at a situation from various points of view or with fresh eyes, especially if it's somebody coming back from the past, you know, kind of look at them with a fresh perspective. The hanged man is highly in intuitive and spiritual, really waiting. Look at that golden orb around his head, really waiting for the illumination, some sign from above, from their spiritual team, from these angels, right? To let you know that it's okay to come down off the post now and you can move forward. So in in this year, one of the biggest lessons is about delaying your gratification. It will feel like a sacrifice. It is not fun all the time to be kind of hanging out in the matrix there, but you'll be better for it. Got it? Okay. And the best version of yourself? Empress. So even if you're here as a masculine, you need to work on getting in touch with your feminine side with the yin. If you are here as the feminine Cancerian, then this is the highest, best version of yourself is all about unconditional love. Beautiful. Oh, I love this reading so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do hope you'll consider subscribing. <laughs> 
join us here. Um, and for those who are returning, I, I love you. I cherish you. I value you. Um, I appreciate all your contributions energetically. And you always seem to lift me. So I really do appreciate that. It's not your job, but it does, it does make it easier for me to connect. So I do appreciate it. Okay. Let's see where we're going here. Five of Pentacles, please. Something from last year y'all need to let go of. Some measure of instability. Not feeling appreciated. Feeling ghosted. Wow. Whatever it is, it led you to a major transformation. You've got to transform out of that energy. Uh, if you haven't already, death and the queen of swords. Perfect. Cut out what no longer serves you through this. Okay. So if you experience some measure of instability, some, someone ghosting you, somebody rejecting you, somebody treating you like yesterday's news, that what you have to let go of is that the transformation Scorpio energy there, that transformation has you coming through it with a very sharp edge, with crystal clear clarity. The queen of swords is high vibration truth. They don't fool themselves or others. They're a truth seeker and a truth teller. But you know what? When coming across somebody that doesn't treat them well and doesn't play straight, cuts it right out. So cancer, you're not always, I mean, I love you dearly. So I say this with love. Being in the energy of the cancerian energy, there is a lot of self-protection mechanisms. And sometimes you don't deal with situations head on. Sometimes you kind of walk side to side to try to you know, get, get out of the spotlight. Um, I don't feel you can do that anymore. I think the transformation is real. I think it needs to happen if it hasn't already begun. And you need to get crystal clear on what your truth is, what your value is, and then accept nothing less than being treated with honor and integrity. I said it. So that's what you're going to let go of. Two of Wands is the upcoming year in your life beautiful energy so hopeful so positive so exciting <laughs> yeah okay so look at the message here there's a take-home message there might be a delay you might have to wait a bit this again the hanged man is showing up twice here so that's the theme of the reading the theme feels to me like even though there were there are choices to be made, there is some aspect that you need to have clarity on and certainty on before, before you make the final decision. No impulse decisions this year. I don't care if it's with a romantic partner or buying a pair of shoes. No impulse buys, no impulse decisions. Really delay that gratification. So this does feel like a delay that you'll be trying to choose the path this year and something will kind of run interference a bit and cause you to pull back and examine it more closely from all perspectives. So you're sure because you do not want to get hurt again. That's the risk. I kind of feel that it's worth it. It's worth the sacrifice if, if you're looking to avoid heartache here. The delay could also cause a little bit of heavy heartedness. There could be something that happens that, um, you know, and I'm only saying this because of the times we're living in right now, and I can't really project the whole year forward, but no matter where you are, are on the globe, we are dealing with a pandemic and some people are really going to be caught up with that, not able to choose to take a trip or to relocate or to um, pick up with somebody that they haven't seen in many years. 
uh, because of travel restrictions. So there may be a delay that causes some heart heaviness or this feels like sacrifice that may um, be a little little heart wrenching. So it's either way, it's either delay the gratification so you don't get hurt or that delay will cause a little bit of discomfort. I'm gonna pull one more, sure. So go, go slow, that's your take home memo. The Knight of Pentacles is action taking, but it's an action with a plan. It's very deliberate and very practical. It, it feels to me like your forward motion here will be slow to kind of anticipate any potential danger in the road. So that's good. That feels good. And let's look at this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is what you have to look forward to. Someone coming back from the past very passionately. Oof, wow. And you will have to make a choice. There's the lover's card, card of Gemini. It will be about, this person will come back in and that's part of what's on the program over here, right? The lover's is about making a choice. Will you choose to move forward with this person or not? I like this because it, it's almost about, the choice will be between this person or moving on to calmer waters. I do feel that's the situation. What that tells me is whoever this Knight of Wands is could kick up some old stuff, right? That's why you're being told to be in the hanged man energy and to take things nice and slow and steady and be practical about things because there is a risk here of some heartache, especially if this person from your past, um, you know, been there, done that, <laughs> I could see a lot of you right now with your hands up. Yep, I got the t-shirt. So there is a choice to be made with regard to whoever this person is that's coming back. Hopefully the connection will lead to calmer waters, but if not, you may need to make that choice to choose the calmer path. This is balance of the mind. Yeah, and I do feel there are regrets of the past here underneath. For those who are new, when I pull from underneath, it's like, what's the unconscious motivation that's driving the behavior? What's your unconscious motivation here, um, Cancer, for the upcoming year is this decision, this choice you have to make. You're making it from the perspective of reflecting on regrets of the past, things that went wrong, what you lost, some heavy heartedness, sadness, loss, grief from the past with this person. So if you're here and you're watching and you're like, there is nobody from my past, then this isn't your reading. So I just feel the need to say that because this feels oddly specific. It doesn't feel like a work reading or a business reading. It feels like a relationship reading pretty, pretty strongly. So I do feel like the choice you have to make is guided by your recollection of mistakes and regrets of the past with this person. So that makes sense. And do you, okay, and do you want to reconcile those differences? Because these two cards, your motivation is, yeah, a lot of spilt wine here. Do I want to make peace? Can we have a win-win? Those are the questions that will be popping up when this person shows up. And when you realize, oh boy, do I wanna jump back into that frying pan? That's the choice. Now, it's something to look forward to. So the whole thing here is, it's about your growth. It's this, maybe there will be some, maybe there will be some um, reconciling of mistakes of the past and maybe you both have some regrets. And regardless of, of how it all turns out, regardless of whether you choose this person or you decide to move on, it will bring you some measure of closure and peace. So you can look at it that way too. Um, but there's very strong potential here for something. Um, maybe this Six of Swords moving to calmer waters is the two of you getting beyond the regrets of the past. That's another way to interpret it too. I gotta, I gotta give you all the possibilities because I have a lot of pe people watching here. It is a general reading for the collective of Cancerians. Oh my gosh, something new to explore. Emperor, please.
brand new beginning with a divine masculine or if you are the divine masculine brand new beginning for you ace of pentacles you walk through that little gate you're in ten of pentacles land this is a card of commitment a new beginning something very very stable here in the 3d big offer a lot of readers call this the engagement ring card and now i see why because there's something very big some met some some commitment on offer either from a masculine or with the masculine by the masculine wow yeah there's your happiness and that's what you're going to be making your decision about so what that leads me to believe dear cancer is that this person here this knight of wands whoever shows up on your doorstep and that's how they usually roll um, is going to be elevated into the energy of divine masculine and showing up with a big offer ready for next level in the connection regardless of how long you've been apart this is all about your happiness aries energy and the emperor and the sun is leo and that's where you're choosing the path you're you're choosing the path from that vantage point from the vantage point of somebody being uh, either someone you want to make an offer to if you're here as the masculine or if you are receiving this offer from a divine masculine so i have beautiful energy masculine and feminine energies watching we all have both in inside that we're trying to balance always but you're usually coming from one energy more dominantly in any at any given time in your divine connection so that's why i'm trying to offer you both perspectives so that I don't leave half of you out. Hanged man. That's an important lesson you're going to learn. That is my Danger Will Robinson card. Hold up, horsey. <laughs> yeah. What? Delaying gratification with a King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the masculine archetype of life partner. Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some of you that will be important for others of you it's more about an energy of someone who shows up for you every day dependable someone you're connected to for the long haul King of Pentacles is generous with time energy resources you know it's it's the person that you're walking through the Ace of Pentacles gate with if you're the Queen of Pentacles this is your King does that make sense it is about a, gr a grounded stable 3d connection right here right now and there's some measure of delaying your gratification with regard to that or if you are the king of pentacles like i've been saying delaying your gratification in that energy could be if you're here as a masculine and you make an offer to this person whoever your person is that comes back from the past you may have to delay the gratification in that energy because they may not say yes right away does that make sense i'm trying to give you both sides if you're here as a feminine and, you, and this person that comes back comes back in the energy of a divine counterpart divine masculine with a big offer that you're really weighing and looking at the choosing that path you may have to delay gratification before you accept their offer that's the lesson you're here to learn yeah who something will something will be a little bit earth shaking here that's why that delay that's an important lesson it came out right up here and you see you're choosing a path i feel like there's some earth shaking event life-changing event that may occur that may come in regarding this king of pentacles something um i'm not a hundred percent let me pull one more so this ten of wands leads me to believe that something here with with regard to this king will will need to um, be moved out of the way either something in their life or something between you has to come down something isn't stable or secure and isn't really serving your highest good i'm here reading for you 
So I feel like it comes down and then you get to lay down the heavy burden. But you can't do that if you're, you know, gallivanting all over the place with this Knight of Wands. The whole take home me memo here is do not ma make any impulsive decisions really weighted out because something may not be as stable as you think it is. And you want to be sure to clear out what isn't stable and make sure that you get on terra firma with this person. And that way you can move through that challenging situation and lay it down and not have to carry it. That's what the delay is about. Sure, it will be very overwhelming. There will be a lot to process. Seven of cups on an emotional level. But here the best version of yourself is to always come from unconditional love of self first unconditional love of yourself first it all starts with you and then your divine counterpart and that's what the delay is going to be about now just so we're clear this delay this hanged man could be out of your control cancer it could come from this masculine could say look i got something a situation i have to deal with it's all coming apart for me over here it has nothing to do with you but i gotta take care of it that may be a forced delay. Do you see what I'm trying to say? But the fact that we have the two of wands in the main, main spread with a clarifier of the hanged man, then we have the two of wands as a clarifier with this masculine, and then we have the hanged man with a king of pentacles who is usually life partner. So I'm seeing all these things are, are touching each other, kind of connected. And that delay, whether it's put upon you, forced upon you, or whether you choose to delay your own gratification, there's a big reason why. Don't say I didn't tell you. Empress, best version of yourself. Stand up for yourself. Seven of Wands, come from unconditional love stand up for yourself there's a three of cups here so i'm um, very possible that that tower could be some third party or third energy on some level i am getting a queen of wands queen of wands she's been popping up in a lot of readings lately aries leo sag somebody very magnetic strong personality takes no prisoners little mystical there with that black cat at her foot so there could be that this masculine, uh, if you're here as a feminine, that this masculine that you're perceiving as this king of pentacles may have unfinished business with a queen of wands. And your best version of yourself is to stand up for yourself, come from your unconditional love, sure, but stand up for yourself, resist that third party situation. Third parties can be anything. It can be work. It can be distance. It can be family members. It can be addiction or mental illness. It can be a number of things. It doesn't have to be a person per se. And it does not, I am not seeing any cheating scenarios here from this point of the reading. What I'm saying though, is that if there is a third party, it's coming across as a queen of wands outside of your awareness. Someone who doesn't take no very well. So it just may be that this, this masculine kind of comes in, returns from the past. You have to make a choice. There are some regrets of the past and you are trying to move to calmer waters. We have two sixes here. The sixes are about balance and stability with a five in between, so that's good. Wanting to make the peace and reconcile your differences and then all, this beautiful offer comes toward you as you're looking at the paths and considering them and then it's like a screeching halt because something has to be dealt with and if it isn't dealt with it will be dealt with by spirit in a very unpleasant way. So I do feel that's part of the lesson you're going to learn and then you get to lay the burden down and process all the shattered pieces clean up on aisle five. That's really what this feels like. So that's what I have for you right now, Cancer, for this part of the reading. In the extended, here's what I'm going to pull. All across the bottom here, I am pulling a card for you for your family dynamics, your friendships, romantic relationships, hello, going forward, health, finances, your career, and travel. 
I will pull those cards and do more clarification uh, with the clarifiers. And then a lot of times it kind of points back to some scenarios in here. So we get a full picture for the year going forward. I do hope you found this enlightening and got some little golden nuggets of wisdom to carry you forward for the next 365 days. Best to you always, Cancer. Happy, happy birthday. Many, many more. And I will see you on a future reading. If you want to follow me to the extended, the link to that is below in the first sentence or two. I'll see you there in a second. Take care. Bye.